So I'm out here today to uh, test some new props for Mud Skipper. I got a, a six, six and a half, and seven, and then I also have the new weedless props. So I uh, stopped in the middle of the lake, was setting up some filming stuff so I can do speed tests. Went to start the engine and ripped the pull cord out. That's a three-year-old Predator engine for you, but left the toolkit in the truck, so I'm gonna have to paddle back and. Uh, Hopefully it's just a couple 10 millimeter bolts and I can tie the handle back on and save the day. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to pad on then. But, you know, like, unlike the last video, the snake falls in the boat, I got my root beer. So life's good. It's another mile back, no big deal. I'm going to start by removing the three 8mm bolts that hold that cover over the flywheel and fan, which also houses the recoil starting mechanism. Once I removed those three bolts, I was able to pull the cover off. Now there's nothing else holding it on, it just slides straight out. And what I should have done was wound the spring the rest of the way up, which I didn't do and left a large amount of slack in the line. Now it took a little bit of convincing to get it to go back through the hole but the easiest way was to take the three or four frayed strings off of the snapped cable and use those to thread the needle. Now here I'm taking the T-handle that I ripped off and I'm taking the old string out of that. Now I will thread the pull cable from the engine through the T-handle and just tie it off with an overhand knot. I had to straighten the pull cable out a little bit because it was bunched up from snapping off. Now it's just a matter of rebolting the flywheel cover with the three 7mm bolts. Now make sure the flywheel cover is tightened down so that the bolts do not come loose because the single cylinder engine puts off a large amount of vibration. Now you can see when I finish up here that there is a lot of slack in that pull cable because I did not wind the spring back all the way. Now that did make it difficult because I only had about a quarter pull. Um, so I had to pull hard and it was very short, but it still managed to get the engine turned over enough for running. <laughs> 